the looking glass, the similar event. It's an amazing novel written by Lewis Carroll, talking about Alice discovering her own world behind the mirror. When I first look at the theme, I think about a perfect, flawless topic from the outside, but actually has the dark side of it, like a coin. Then, I think about the main character, Alice. Who is she? She is totally a brave and fearless girl, the one that will do everything the world gives her, no matter what and who she faces. I take a look at her, then I take a look at myself. We are surprisingly similar. I have always tried to do everything and encounter everything that's the destiny step. And what is my destiny? It is to get a green card of my dream destination, the United States. I have always dreamed that one day I will be landing of one of the most modest and revolutionized countries on this globe. But at first, I think that migration is the only way to improve my living standard and to get close to the peak of this world. But I have another thought. If I see that from a different side, would that be perfect anymore? Is it worth to risk your normal life and go to a place where you know nearly nothing about the dark side of it? Maybe, maybe I'm painting everybody here with the same brush, but most of the youngsters like me here are a bunch of Alice, and that rabbit hole is not always pink for you. All of us, from the past till now, have always thought the United States as one of the best countries on this world, with great human resources and more facilities. I assume that most of us want, or used to want, to live in a way so bad, ready to trade and to risk anything to eat better food, earn more money, live in better houses. The proof is, according to a research made by Pew Research Center, in 2018, 44.8 million people living in the U.S. are foreign-born, which are 30.7% of the total population. But, as I have said, all things on this world have two sides. Let's take a look at the fact that we are called skin. And in the U.S., more and more people are migrating to of course. But can you imagine that thousand cases, million cases, related to racism every year in the U.S.? The prejudice in that country has always been the whites are the inferior, that they are chosen by Jesus. They think that our nation will only bring severe and tremendous problem to them. To a certain extent, the U.S. is using us, manipulating us, and obviously not cherishing us, the faraway migrants. That is why living in the U.S. would not be easy for all of us. But as we have to face tons of problems there in the U.S., can you imagine, can you imagine how awful your life would be? See, you are now living with your stable family, living in stable houses, and you are treated well in your community. That seems like a good life. But what if you go to the United States and your life becomes unfortunate? It will shatter. First of all, you will have no stable job. In the government department, white people are holding the main deciding position, going higher and higher. There are less and less different color skin leaders. According to a report made by the Federal Reserve System, in 2013, 90%, 90% of the country's property was owned by pure white, while the indigenous people hold so much stake in the economy, there's no way they will provide you with a stable and well-paid job. All they want to do with you is to kick you out of the nation, while you have no career, but you still have to earn more money, you will slowly fall into depression. And not only you, your family and your children will be the one who have to pay the price. While you have no money, not only you and your family are prevented from assessing basic needs, but your soul will also be harmed as you feel guilty not providing them with their necessity. While you have no money, 
your kid, of course, they cannot receive the education that is expected when you migrate. In a survey conducted in 2018, 27% of the foreign-born people in the U.S. have not completed the high school education when they are 25 and above. And just think of this. If you get caught, your children, they will be separate from you. They so you may have to go to orphanage or be adopted. But can children face the provided life without their parents? We all know that a bond with parents is something not easy to be broken. And if it is, negative feeling will come to a child and it will be trapped inside their small heart and really hard to expose themselves to their new parents, I would say that. C, you come to the U.S. to improve your life. Look at what you've done instead. Is that what you want? Again, take a look at me. After all of this, all of the illness, all of the depressions, will I continue my destiny? It is so hard to change your destiny. When something is set for you, you just need to follow that path. However, if this situation continues, I think my destiny needs some change. It is totally different now. My destiny this time is to develop myself into a better person. It is to achieve a better life for my future family. And at last, I realize my destiny is to contribute to my country wherever I live. So, dear Alice, dear Alice over here, I believe all of us, all of us, need a big change right now. We step through the looking glass, discovering a new side of the future and a new side of us. Maybe what we call destiny can be changed based on what we do and what we explore inside each of us. When we take a deep look into migrating to the U.S., we all see that it is not the only way to improve your life. Your life, it can always be better. It just depends on how you choose your way. Alice can change her destiny. And so can we.